How's it guys? Today I just want to show you a different way of formatting a hard drive and a flash drive. Everyone knows the conventional way. Basically, just go onto my computer, find the hard drive or flash drive or whatever you want to format. You right click, you press format and you just press OK. Right, and it formats it for you, it asks you before, are you sure you want to format, all the data that is on there will be lost, etc, etc, okay, but what if a flash doesn't want to format that way? There is a way which you can try, which sometimes works, but not necessarily will, personally, from personal experience, but it is another way of formatting, and that's the command prompt way, the very old fashioned way, I still like it because it makes you feel pretty cool sometimes okay so basically what you want to do is get into your run so on Windows 7 you press start okay and then go into search and type CMD okay on Windows 8 you can just um, also go search okay there is a search option but Windows 8 this is what I'm working on at the moment you have to go into the bottom right corner okay Sorry. and then go to search and then type in CMD and you can see that the command prompt comes up okay but we're not going to do it this way because all windows have one easy function to get into the run feature and that is pressing your windows key down and the R button if you do that a run dialog pops up okay once that run dialog pops up all you need to do is type in CMD and command prompt will open okay Basically, once the command prompt is open, all you need to do is type in disk part, okay, one word, press enter. Another dialog will open, and now you're in the disk part, okay. Now, you don't know which disks are which, because they number disk 1, disk 2, disk 3, okay. They're not num named like you named your disks, if you named your disks, okay. And they're not in C, D, E, okay, so you need to check which one it is. So all you need to do is say list disk and it'll pop up with all the disks on your computer. Okay, so those are all my system disks and I want to format disk 3. Okay, now let's just make sure that this works. So let's go to disk 3 first. Just put a, I don't know, whatever, that takes document, uh, put an Excel document. And a word document. Okay, now those are on the flash now. Okay, so it's not completely empty. Alright, now I want to select that disk. So you rewrite select disk. Oops. Oh, sorry, I forgot to put the number. So select disk 3. Okay. Oh, sorry, topo. Sorry, guys. Um, so once you've selected the disk, what you want to do is you want to clean it. Okay, it's clean. Then you want to create a partition for your disk. Okay, flash drive or normal hard drive, solid state, doesn't matter. So what you write is create partition primary. Okay, press enter. You can see it's created a partition. That's great. Now you want to format it. How you do that is you type format and then you write fs okay and then equals and then the type of format you want to do so because it's a flash drive i'm going to do fat32 you can also put uh ntfs okay that's more for hard drive size it's for bigger sizes because fat32 has a limit okay and you want to do it quickly because otherwise it'll take way too long and it's going to waste your time so you want to do a quick format it's advisable unless the hard drive has some hectic virus and you want to delete everything okay so once it's formatted that's hundreds and you just need to activate it one easy to activate it just right active okay it's activated and then you can exit exit that as well oops exit that as well now when you go into your flash drive you'll see everything is gone Okay, just to make sure it's the right one. Okay. Thank you for watching. I hope this helps. It's not really useful because you can do it the, the normal way, the GUI way. But it's it's some some something cool I reckon. 
Um, it always makes you feel good if you're typing and come on prompt. It makes you feel old school. But anyway, have a great day.